Crack the code, understanding interrogative pronouns. Hello, English explorers. Welcome to another exciting lesson. Today, we'll dive into the world of interrogative pronouns. Pronouns are often the unsung heroes of our sentences, and interrogative pronouns have a special job. They ask questions. Don't worry if this sounds complicated. By the end of this video, you'll be a master in using and recognizing these critical elements in English. First things first, let's define interrogative pronouns. These are pronouns that are used to ask questions. They're like little detectives, helping us gather information. The primary interrogative pronouns in English are who, whom, whose, which, and what. Let's start with who, whom, and whose. They are used to refer to people. Who is used to ask about the subject of a sentence, like, who made this cake? Whom is used to ask about the object of a verb or preposition, such as, whom did you invite? Or, to whom was the letter written? Finally, whose is used to ask about possession. For example, whose bag is this? Next up, we have which and what. These can refer to both people and things, and are used when the speaker wants to identify one or many among a known set. Which is usually used when the choices are limited, such as, which of these three shirts do you like best? What is often used when the choices are unlimited or unknown? For instance, what out of all possible books in the world are you reading? Here's an interesting fact. Interrogative pronouns do not change for singular and plural. For example, we say, who ate the cookies? When asking about one person, and we use the same, who? When asking about many people, like in, who are the students in your class? That wraps up our session on interrogative pronouns. I hope you now feel more confident using these handy tools in your English conversations and writings. Remember, practice is key. So, don't be shy to use them in your everyday communication. Until next time, keep exploring and happy learning.